I'm Dr. Sitar. I'm a pulmonary critical care and sleep specialist. I did my med school in King Edward Medical College, Lahore, Pakistan. After that, I came to do my residency training, which I did at Michigan State University uh, in Lansing, Michigan. After that, I did my pulmonary critical care and sleep fellowship at University of Texas. And most recently, I did advanced diagnostic bronchoscopy training at Cleveland Clinic. As far as my work experience is concerned, uh, I've been doing pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine for a little over 14 years. I started my practice in Central Ohio and did work for a hospital in Circleville. Along with that, I also worked in Marysville and then Columbus. And that practice lasted for about 12 years. I wanted to do a few more things and then I moved to Dallas and I worked in different hospitals in Dallas for about two years. And after that, I decided that I liked what I was doing in Central Ohio, and then I came to Zanesville. I chose Genesis Hospital because if you look at hospitals of this size, I believe Genesis most advanced hospital with uh, up-to-date technology, a very forward-thinking team, and I think this is the place where I can provide the best care the way I vision it. Healthcare is a team approach. You cannot deliver the best healthcare as one person. You have to have a great team. And at Genesis, we have a very wonderful pulmonary critical care team, um, highly trained doctors, nurses, staff, and um, it's a well lubricated machine, if I can say that. And we can provide the care as good or better than any other hospital in Ohio. I chose pulmonary critical care and sleep specialist because I wanted to choose a specialty where I can help my patients the most and wanted to acquire the vast breadth of knowledge which this specialty offered me. And now I can help my patients whether they are dealing with as little as a cough or asthma or if they are critically ill and they are in respiratory failure or they're having issues with sleep apnea or restless legs or narcolepsy. So it's really a broad spectrum of problems that I can deal with. When I first meet a new patient, I would like to know why they're here and what is their goal in this visit. And then I like to know their past medical history because that determines a lot of uh, what's going on in their lives and how I can make the situation better. Knowing my patients at personal level is very important because that helps me determine the best treatment plan that works for my patients. As an example, we are doing lung cancer screening program. And in that, you know, the big piece of lung cancer screening program is to go over the patient, go over with the patient uh, with risk benefit ratio. You know. What are the benefits of doing annual screening and what are the risks like doing, you know, that we may find something on the lung cancer screening that may require further biopsies and we may be doing a biopsy for something which is a real lung cancer and in some scenarios we may be doing unnecessary biopsies and going through all this before you order a, even a CAT scan is very important so that you do what patients preferences and priorities are and you're not just fishing around so that's how I look at that, you know, knowing the personal at a personal level is very important. At Genesis, we can offer a full spectrum of pulmonary critical care and sleep procedures, including CT scans, pulmonary function testing, bronchoscopy, including navigational assisted bronchoscopy, endobronchial ultrasound guided by bronchoscopy, robotic bronchoscopy, and thoracentesis, chest tube placement, sleep studies, oxygen testing. So basically we have a full spectrum of um, procedures available at Genesis. Quite often I get referral for these folks who have been snoring for years but they're in a big time denial. Their spouses are trying to tell them that there is some problem but they are not willing to admit that. They're not able to sleep, they stop breathing throughout the night, their partners cannot sleep, then they 
tend to sleep in the recliner because the problem may lessen a little bit. They finally somehow end up coming to see me and then we convince them that this is important in their life. They need to get tested because it can cause problems like stroke, heart attacks down the road if we don't take care of it at this point. And they get the testing done. They get diagnosed with sleep apnea and then finally we get them required breathing assistance with a CPAP or a BiPAP. And once they use it, they really notice a big difference in their life. They finally can sleep after years and years of not able to breathe right through the night and sleep right through the night. And they come back and they tell me that they feel like a new person. They were not able to do that for 10 years sometimes or the whole life sometimes, you know. And that really changes the whole, you know, kind of quality of life in these folks. My favorite part about being a doctor is the ability to make a change in life of people and in their families every day.